Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Jerry and I'm hailing you from the Antares Shipyard. And today we're going to be taking a look at a Blind Booster Pack for Nunks Marauder, a Ferengi Decora class. Um, if you are unfamiliar or aren't aware, the Blind Booster Pack was an event that was held by WizKids. Uh, where you would show up to a tournament, you would buy your way in, and with that purchase, you would get a Blind Booster Pack. Uh, you would also bring a smaller fleet with you, and you would open that Blind Booster Pack and then have to incorporate that ship that you pulled into your fleet for the event. So, jumping right on in, we got Nunks Marauder here, 3143, Tech Weapon Weapon Crew, 22 points. Uh, you got your Evade Battle Station Scan Action Bar. During the activation phase, you may perform a scan as a free action. If you do so, place an auxiliary power token beside your ship. Um, probably pretty thematic for Nunks Marauder. This was the one for Angie Decorda in Voyager uh, that was trying to steal seven in her nano probes. So, Ferengi Marauder Decora class uh, come down to 16 thanks to the Ferengi faction pack. Uh, the captain in, the, in this pack is Nunk. After after you move, if an opposing ship is within range 1 to 3 of your ship and has a scan token beside it, you may perform a battle station action as a free action. Uh, skill 6, got an elite talent slot, cost of 4. So Nunk's definitely going to be more uh, useful in these days now where scans are very prevalent. Um, and the fact that the rules behind scans might be changing soon, um, he may come into effect even more. Uh, and then we got the elite talent slot, Kidnap. Action. Disable all of your remaining shields and target a ship at range 1 to 2 that is not cloaked and has no active shields. Discard this card to steal one crew upgrade on the target ship. If the stolen upgrade exceeds your ship's restrictions, discard that upgrade instead of stealing it. This upgrade may only be purchased for a Ferengi captain assigned to a Ferengi ship. Cost of 5. Oof. We all know that I'm not a big fan of these discards at 5. At five. I definitely think that this card could be a three-point card. Um, three to four point, I lead more towards three. Uh, weapon ports. So this attack is a four-dice attack. Disable this card and perform this attack at range one to three. While this card is disabled, you roll one less defense die. Don't, don't like that already. Uh, if you hit an attack squadron with this attack during the deal damage deck, discard one attack squadron for each uncanceled hit or crit result. So again, we got that theme of attack uh, squadron defense coming into this. Um, what ports I've seen get used quite often and quite effectively, so I think everything's pretty balanced with it as it is. Uh, the tech we got in this is Geodesic Pulse. Action, immediately perform an additional maneuver with a speed of two or less. You do not lose your perform action step if the ship base overlaps another ship's base with this maneuver. In addition, you do not suffer any damage from obstacles, and you cannot attack this round. Cost of 5. Eh, I'd probably lower this down to a cost of 3 for what it does. Um, it doesn't look like it's a disable or a discard either, so yeah, I'd say cost of 3 is good. Um, the crew is Omag. Between any of the phases, you may discard this card to remove a disable token from one of your weapon upgrades, or... When attacking, during the declare, tar declare target step, you may discard this card to target a ship at range 1 to 3. Choose one non-Borg weapon upgrade on the target ship with a printed cost of 4 or less and disable it to perform this attack as if it were deployed to your ship. So, Omag is one of the fun builds that I have, have put together and ran in a Fremont Reformation uh, event, and it involved having Omag on, I think it was Solox Marauder, um, with a Gorn Raider following behind at range 3. Um, and the reason why I did that is because non or Omag doesn't say target an enemy ship. He just says target a ship. So that means you can target a friendly ship. So it surprised a lot of players that I played against that, wait a second, Omag is reaching back behind, grabbing Disruptor Bombardment from the Gorn Raider, and then using it as if it were in attached to the Ferengi Marauder and hitting pretty hard. Um, it was a lot of fun. And then, of course, Omag would get discarded and then the ship would bring him back if he did a green maneuver. Um, so I could do it multiple times. Having said that, I think Omag is a little bit overpriced. He could be a four-point card. Three to four point, I leaned more towards four because of that very reason. Now, if it said target an enemy weapon, 
Um, maybe that'd be a three-point card, but targeting a weapon of your own, uh, that could be a four-point card. You know, you can think about the possibilities of, like, Chronoton Torpedoes or any of them, really. Um, Omax opens up a lot of doors with that. Um, and with that, that is the last card in this pack. There are no missions because it was a blind booster pack. Um, so let me hear your war stories with Nugs Marauder. Did you pull it? Did you ever play with it? Have you have any builds for it? Um, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider giving us a subscribe. Let's me know that you like the content, and I'll let you know when more of it comes out. Uh, we got videos going up almost weekly. Um, also, consider giving the video a like. That helps get the video into the algorithm so it gets recommended to other Attack Wing players. Um, and share the video if you'd like with the other players. Um, and then last but not least, consider giving us uh, a follow with the Fremont Reformation Discord. A link to that in the description below. We are the largest Attack Wing centric Discord out there. And we talk about the game, we talk about rules, uh, we help people with builds all the time. And uh, we do also run monthly events there for people who don't have a scene or anywhere to play near them. We do run those monthly events through Tabletop Simulator, and we've got players from all over the world that join us to play. Um, it's a really good time, so we're always looking for more players to join us. Um, but until, until then, and until next time, we'll see you around the shipyard.